Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. And the Teen Titans issue number 37. Who is the other? Well, he's revealed in this one. And I was a little huh, underwhelmed by this, but there's a very good reason why I was underwhelmed. And I'm going to explain all that stuff in this otherwise pretty damn good issue. Let's get to about who made this comic book. We'll talk about the book itself. So this issue is called And It Begins. Adam Glass and Bernard Chang are the writers. Bernard Chang also did the layout. Scott Hanna did the finishes. Marcelo Maiolo did the colors. Rob Lay did the letters. Chang and Maiolo did the cover. And Carrie Randolph and Peter Staggerwald did the variant cover. Okay, so... Let's get into the stuff that I did understand. And namely, that's the relationship between... Um, roundhouse and his mom because i think all of us have had that issue some issue many issues with our parents at some point or another right and this dude's dealing with a sister who died while he lived and he wound up getting you know super cool powers from it and he always felt a lot of survivor's guilt now he doesn't call it that in there but it doesn't take much to recognize that's exactly what he's feeling he's going to you know he blames himself for his uh his sister dying so he assumes that everybody blames him for that you know and he he feels like yeah maybe it's true maybe it's true and everybody it's it's easier to to point outwards and say stop blaming me as opposed to point inwards and say stop blaming yourself so this works. This generally works on a very solid level. The parenting technique is interesting. Um, uh, what do you call? It? I don't know if Asian moms are actually like this. I never actually had an Asian mom. I had a mom who, if I said, "You know, mom, you did such and such," such, she'd turn around and be like, "Oh, really? Uh, actually, that was you. You did such and such." I'd be like, ah, "We're butting heads. We can never win, right?" Um, this mom, however. She says everything is correct, that, that, that he's right on everything. Every single thing that he says, you know, you're right. Bang, 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 bang. Even, even when she's not actually agreeing with him, when she's disagreeing with him, you know, you're right. Now allow me to explain it to you the way that it actually happened, indicating that you're wrong, but you're just going to listen to the first thing I say and therefore be very receptive to everything I say afterwards. Wow. I got to try that. I've got to try that because <laughs> it looked good. It looked good. And it's very believable the way this happened. Um, we do see a lot of family. And the thing about it, this entire issue is really all about family and betrayal. Uh, Lobo, you'd figure that he's going to have a heart and maybe he'll come back and he actually will. I don't know. He kind of technically, in his mind at least, has to kill every member of his his species, his race, right? So when uh, the order is given, hey, hold on, aren't you forgetting something? I have to kill your daughter too. Just leave her here. Give her the mental command. And it's explained why he can do that. And then she's going to listen to you. And this way I can kill her that much easier. And Lobo doesn't even bother turning around to face him. He's just like, all right, bye. Is he going to come back? Is he actually going to have a change of heart? Because that would kind of be just a little bit cool but do we actually want to see Lobo being a, a good dad in any way, shape, or form? Even a good friend? Hell, a good person, you know? Probably not. So we'll see how that's handled. We're going to see how the, the, um, the, the what is it, the relationship between um, Amka and, um, uh, excuse me, Amiko and, um, and, uh, Wallace is going to work also because that's interesting. And they've always been very, very much butting heads like two freaking goats. Just, you know, my mountain, boom, my mountain, boom. And here they're actually kind of cool with each other. The whole book is interesting. Do I want to see Roundhouse reintegrated in with the Teen Titans? No, I absolutely don't. I don't believe that he deserves it. I do believe that maybe they can come to a mutual understanding. Be like, okay, cool but you're not welcome back into this team, I don't know. Maybe it just gets disbanded since the comic book is going to be ending pretty soon. Very upset that's going to be happening, but but Adam Glass is going on to bigger and better things. Hate saying that <laughs> because this is pretty, you know, pretty darn good too, but it is what it is. Okay, so who is the other? This is the one thing that was completely lost to me. Why? Because this character was actually introduced, the other is revealed, was introduced in Batman Incorporated Volume 2. I never read either volume. I don't know how many volumes there are. I never read any of them. This came out during a time when I was in the Middle East. 
man, that was a really messed up time for me in comics. Anyway, so no, we weren't able to, I, I looked at this, I'm like, I have no idea. I, well, obviously I know who this character is, but I had no clue he actually existed. Now, the, the trick of it is the argument that's given to Damien isn't very convincing to me. And even Damien's response, it's like, it, I feel like he's definitely faking this. I mean, he just got finished saying, basically, I hope you die in a fire. And then all of a sudden we're turning around, oh, hmm, so if uh, if such if we were to do such and such, then all of a sudden, no, I just, I can't buy that. It's literally like the next panel. So it feels forced <laughs> and it is what it is. And again, the and this is no fault of the writer or the artist or anybody like that. It's, it's I guess, my fault. Um, it's completely lost on me the importance of this character who is actually the other. So all in all, no, this didn't work for me. The big reveal, the big thing that we've all been waiting for was the one thing about the comic book that I didn't dig. But again, it should be pretty easily explained away. Maybe there are people out there who have read, um, actually I'm certain there are people out there who've read Batman Incorporated Volume 2, and there may be many of them, if not all of them, just like, holy crap, I've been wondering what happened to that character. Well, they don't actually explain what happened to him. Like how, actually, no, they did. They did. Okay, it was just, it was kind of like a weak sauce kind of explanation. Oh, they brought me to the Lazarus pit. Well, at this point, everybody's been in the damn Lazarus pit. I mean, like, what's the freaking point anymore? It's, there's nothing special about it anymore, you know? Um, you remember when it was like, it had to be completely exclusive for Roz? I don't know. So I honestly, every single thing about the other in here, either lost on me or I just really didn't like, you know, for all intents and purposes. The trick is everything else in the comic book that was around this big what to do about the book, I actually really loved. And it's mostly about the psychology of family drama. Wow. Did not expect to walk into this book like that at all. I absolutely did not expect to leave the book with that thought. But here we are. This was a pretty fun book. The book is ending again. This should be the very last arc. Get it while you can. And uh, let's start a petition to get them to keep doing something because I, I can't imagine a world without the Teen Titans. I'm just saying. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.